not sure if this will pick up on the van's audio, but I've done a little mod. Chavtastic! It sounds so f***ing ridiculous. Ah, I love it. Alright, so I'm just on my way to back to Amber East. Uh, we're having a bit of a reunion tonight. Uh, the weather's a bit naff, unfortunately, but um, we'll make it work. The original plan of Fire in the rocket stove is back up, and the campfire may not um, may not happen. But uh, just to see the guys again, I can't wait. And the air filter that I've just put in is causing some audio issues. I can't even myself think over it. I have got to dip into a lay-by where Emma is. Emma's was supposed to be meeting us, so is this the one? No. <laughs> it's so loud. <laughs> it seemed cool at first, but not anymore. So yeah, I'm gonna dip in, grab Emma, I'm gonna get there, and then the drinks shall start to flow. I'm gonna get messy tonight. Not on the right road. Here she is. Once I finally found Emma, the farm was only ten minutes ahead, with Ash, Marie, and Jez already there. And there they are. There's Bolski. Where's Bolski, Lance? since we left but it still felt strange to be back. It's so different. It seems so much smaller than when we were first here. This is where my van was parked, it's now been ploughed. Lovely, lovely. Chickens are here. The weeds are starting to come back pretty damn quick. I think Jez has been having a few more bonfires. This is where I lived for 10 weeks. The field's been treated now. Everything's died. It's now uh, a lovely bosky is assisting Lance in a poo. Get out of it! Oh, all of the memories. 
with the nostalgia bullshit out of the way, it was time to crack open some drinks. I'd bought a bottle of Pims expecting good weather, which nobody really knew what it was, just that it tastes nice. Yeah. What is it? It tastes really good, so you don't know. And before you know, it's it. We're going to get quite quickly battered then, do a live stream. Oh, there's an idea. So, what's inside of it? Pims? I don't honestly know. There's a twist of pim. Wait, pims comes in the same bottle, right? Yeah. Should we get the bottle with another weed? Did you find it in like a 19th century bureau? <laughs> Did it come with the Chinzano? I was given it by my grandparents. <laughs> Did it come with a Chinzano? One of the best quotes I've ever heard. Chinzano. Kuala Lumpur, 1890. Oh, when it was introduced. Yeah, it's a good point. It was like released the like bottom of the colonies. It's old as f. It's old as f. It's the love those days when they come out and go, I think it's like, it's like three in the afternoon. I might be able to have a beer, actually. <laughs> three in already. <laughs> <laughs> you spent the entire lockdown by okay. buzz. <laughs> Which one are you just going? <laughs> like, oh, yeah. ten. I'm going to die. I'm going to die pissed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was waiting to die every day, so I had to get me in. Yeah. Get the boys in. <laughs> I'd forgotten I said it tastes like shit as well. That was dark. dark. Until I watched your video, Absolutely I'd forgotten all about it. Died. Oh, carrying the food. Yeah. yeah. It worked better than I'd ever hoped. Yeah. It was like, I'm going to do it really, really sad. Okay, now I'll put the audio back and it says, Tastes like shit! <laughs> <laughs> he said, Smells yeah. like shit, didn't you? Yeah. 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 It sounds like, it tastes like shit as yeah. well. <laughs> <laughs> and you know that golf video? I think it's yours. Um, yes. There is a point. No, it was the live. It was the live golf video, which was, it was risky to say the least in the beginning, wasn't it? Right. Because we were f***ed. Getting drunk, driving around the field and playing golf. <laughs> There's a bit of a whole three, I think it was, Marie. Yeah, maybe so. Where you and I go straight into full <laughs> I, I tell people about that night all the time. Just go get halfway through the store and they're like, well, what was Jess saying? And we're like, Jess was in it as well. <laughs> Nobody said this was stupid. No. And the Indian woman. Oh, thought about that the other day. Yeah. Oh, so where we were, Golf course is like centre of the field from here. Okay. But then you look back at the camp and like we all said it. It looked like there was a woman just leaning so on uh, Marie's van. It's like, oh, it's a towel. Oh, it's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was a rag. It was so, <laughs> it was so sweet. I'm not that. original. That wasn't <laughs> I'm not an <laughs> yeah. I was like, do I come in? And like, <laughs> we haven't done the initiation. Yeah, we haven't talked about the initiation yet. And oh, these lights, well, chicken oh. guard lights. Yep. How will you? How will you? Put the chickens away! So it's a man of many alarms. Yeah. Weird, look, this Weird was the lot. centre point of our camp. I can't say remember it. You don't. I put it in the ground. That was in the flower patch that lasted <laughs> yeah. two days. As the sun set, the drinks kept flowing and pizzas arrived from the local pub. We carried on reminiscing about our time at camp. Both the bits that you guys all saw and the bits you didn't. None of which was YouTube friendly. Later on the rain eased up a little bit so we ventured out to play another round of swear balls. And just around the 2am mark we all stumbled back to our vans. So we didn't get to use the rocket stoves after all, but I couldn't resist just having one little celebratory fire with the leftover pizza boxes. After that it was back to reality really. I had work booked down south so I started heading down that way. With many of my park ups on the way down scattered with litter, I try and do my bit of picking some of it up while I'm there. Cardboard and paper like McDonald's and KFC packets go in the log burner and plastics go in my bin ready for when I can find a bigger bin later on. But there's a real problem in the UK at the moment, especially after lockdown, of people that just have no respect. I'd like to say most of it's just youngsters going into these rural car parks and leaving their McDonald's and whatever packets everywhere. But some of it is actually camper vans, weekenders, even full timers. Think it's okay to just dump their rubbish everywhere and it's disgusting. But by grabbing yourself a cheap litter picker and doing your bit to tidy up, not only are you doing your bit to alleviate that stigma, but you're also helping tidy up after these tramps and keep our park ups clean. I've done it for a while now and it's surprising how it does draw away negative attention. Locals see you cleaning up their areas and they're happy for you to stay. 
Most of the time it takes me five to ten minutes. There's always a bin nearby. And if you've got a log burner, happy days. McDonald's and KFC packets, kindling. Now I don't want this message to come across as virtue singly or oh look how good I am. I didn't even call it this a scheme. It's just something that a lot of van lifers have started doing and I'm really behind it. So if you want to get on board and help alleviate this stigma the van lifers are getting, grab yourself a lit picker and just start keeping your park ups clean. As I carried on down south and got close to where my customers were based, I stumbled across a park up that I could not believe, an area of public land that was totally free to come and camp on. I managed to get the van hidden away under a tree with nothing but forest to look out at for miles. I've just been there, uh, I just had a little wander around with the dog and we found a signpost. This spot's actually named after an old Romany gypsy um, who stayed nearby in the woods in his trailer. So this place is actually here because of this style of life, which I just, I love that. I think that's great. The fact that it's still here and you're still allowed to come and, and do your own thing. It's very rare in the UK. So I'm here, I've got a job nearby tomorrow. So this would be my overnight spot. And um, yeah, tomorrow is, I believe, two solar panels and some electrical stuff. And then and from there, I might even come back here. I don't know. Um, I've got two days before I've got to meet Emma. Unfortunately, I've got a few hours of not enjoying this view because I've got some editing and some emails to answer. But then I think we're going to go for a big walk, aren't we, Lance? I just got in a slight altercation with some stupid She's now just walked off after me giving her a right old mouthful. She was having a go at me for collecting some wood off the floor. How dare you take wood from the forest? You shouldn't be taking wood from the forest. You'll damage it. If you want wood, you shouldn't go and buy some. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So rather than taking little bits of dead wood off the floor, I will go into a shop and spend money on the same wood that's been mass cut down and animal habitats and forests have been destroyed because of it and I will pay for the privilege of doing that because some virtue preaching little shit stain thinks I'm damaging the forest by taking some dead wood off the floor. The next tit that comes up to me and tells me that I can't take wood from the ground to burn for heat, I'm going to wrap that log around their head and then put them in the log burner. <clears throat> heat my house off 100% renewable twat. Once I'd got that rant out of the way and had a nice calm walk through the forest to soothe me, I got back to the van and me and Lance settled down for a quiet night with a movie, ready for work the next day. The job in question was on a motorhome of a lovely guy called Tom. It previously had a solid state solar panel fitted directly to the roof. Without an air gap it had allowed the roof to heat up and it had actually damaged the fibreglass and sent it all brittle. This did actually make my job a bit harder as it took the clear coat of the fibreglass with it meaning there was some repair work needed before the new solar panel could go down. No, no. Um, I went over, left the job, left everything, sold all my possessions and just went and it was like, ah! <laughs> How long did you go? Eight months? Or Eight or nine months, yeah. It was amazing. Was some you No, and it was like every step of the way, the moment, you know, because people tell you on your own, you want to get lonely. The moment I'd feel like a bit like, um, Someone would just rock up and park next to me and I'd get chatting and... Yeah. The job was going well, but just as soon as I'd repaired the roof, the heavens opened and that was basically the day written off. So that night I headed back to my amazing park up, but it had turned to a bit of a swamp, so... Well, I entered sideways. It's no rest for the wicked when spaniels are involved. It may have been peeing it down, but Lance still needed his walk. So waterproof and boots on, we ventured off back into the woods. Oh, it's that with the wrong hand. Oh, God damn it. I've, I've ruined my, my wrist. It's causing me a lot of problems right now. Let's just swap hands, shall we? Yeah, I am. Um, the other day on one of the jobs I've done my wrist in, really bad, I don't know what I've done but it's, it's becoming more and more difficult to use it, not like that you dirty bastards. 
Um, yeah, I've got tomorrow left now. We were supposed to be finished today, but uh, as you can see, the weather's put a stop to that. But um, yeah, one more day and then I'm on holiday, so I can, uh, I can give the wrist a rest. I'm state of you. Cheers for that. I know the ball's there. Drop. I really do love this spot. This is the woods out the back of where I've been staying. It just goes on forever. Where's the ball? Find it. Yeah, even you've lost it. Might be here a while. Home sweet home. Once again, my fridge has decided to stop cooling and start heating. Everything in here is ruined. There is a place reserved in hell for that fridge and I intend on sending it there very soon. After a meal of noodles because my dinner was ruined, I got into some late night work and emails. The next morning the weather had cleared right up, meaning I could carry on with Tom's van. Thank God. Lord here. Got it all to ourself. For ten minutes while I'm making coffee and then back to work. <coughs> okay, I don't know if this is blurry or not, but I'm in a rush. Today is Friday. I've got to go back and see Tom. Glue a panel down, feed the wire, put in the solar controller screw it to the wall and I'm done and then it is off to Oxford and then off to Devon holiday can't wait I need coffee with the weather holding out I've got the rest of the job done no problem solar panel glued on and all wired up inside then it was off towards Oxford to meet Emma in the morning so we could get off on holiday but first I had to tackle the dreaded M25 oh, sat nav took me onto the M25 been on here 10 seconds, I've had an Audi nearly hit me on the way in and a woman's just cut me up and I nearly sideswiped her into that barrier. I'm going to put my foot down and get away from London quick. And I can't because there's a f***ing Skoda holding up the lane! Despite their best intentions, I made it to Emma without killing anyone and we got some shopping ahead of the trip. <laughs> Hello darling! <laughs> Whoops! I better get that out! Hey! I forgot what you had to do with this! <laughs> We're going on holiday! <laughs> yeah! 